Well, everybody, welcome back to the Kurt Cage, and welcome back to a new episode. This episode, as you can see, we're starting off in the truck again, and uh, we're going back to PetSmart and get some more fish. Most likely some more uh, neon tetras, but we'll see. See you guys then. Well, everybody, we're at PetSmart. Let's go in. By the way, I plan on getting six guppies and some more shrimp, or some shrimp. Let's go inside. Okay, let's get some fish. Well, everybody got some neons and some little shrimp in there. Let's go back home and acclimate these guys and and see how it goes. Well, everybody, as you can see, we're back at home and um, hold on. Um, as you guys can see, I got all of them and there was a floater in there. He was kind of floating around a little bit, but it looks like he kind of made a a recovery see he's, he's not really looking that great but I'm going to have to drip acclimate all these guys because the uh, shrimp they're somewhat sensitive to water quality and everything so I'm going to drip acclimate them I'm going to try to show you guys how that's done and uh, we'll be back okay everybody this is why I got rigged up Basically just take an airline tube, tie a knot in there to about a drip per second-ish. But you can see one of them doesn't look like he's making it. So I'll probably have to freeze him and take him back to the pet store once he actually dies. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back when these guys are fully acclimated. And uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah, everybody, as you can see... This little guy ain't gonna make it. He's barely breathing. He ain't moving like at all. See, he ain't moving like pretty much at all. He just wiggles a little bit. But yeah, I think this guy is not gonna make it. So when he actually does stop breathing, I'll know he's dead. And I'll go ahead and put him in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer because PetSmart has this thing where if you're not satisfied with your pet or if your pet dies within two weeks you can bring them back and they'll either refund you or you'll get a new pet but yeah uh... yeah guys I'm going to uh wait until those other guys are done acclimating and I'll bring you guys back uh, but yeah it is kinda dark so yeah see you guys when it's all done but yeah everybody um, I think I'm about done acclimating these guys these guys been uh, in there for about two and a half or three hours I've already dumped out pretty much all the water and then start it over again so they should be just fine so I'm going to take everything out and then I'm going to take the net and uh, pour them out into the net and put them into the tank so be right back uh, one thing I forgot to mention is since they've been acclimating so slowly I'm going to have to put a lid on here and float them for them to temperature equalize so I'll be I'll be back in a little bit okay, everybody I had to throw them into a smaller jar with a lid because I couldn't find the jar for the big one so now I'm going to put these guys in there and let's see if they float nope they won't float so I'm just going to have to put them in there 
and have them stay. I'm just going to have to put them in there and have them stay until I feel like they have acclimated, temperature acclimated enough. And uh, I'll, got, I'll be back when they're all ready and everything. And yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Okay, everybody, they've been in there for a while. So I feel like the temperature's okay, so uh, I'm going to grab them out. Then I'm going to uh, plop them in the net, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. But everybody, let's uh, go ahead and throw them in there. I got the lid off, and make sure you guys are in focus, yeah. We'll just, just quickly get all of them out. And then we'll throw them in the water. Let them kind of get used to being in water. And we'll just let them out. Just like that. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. So yeah. They're all starting to get out now. I gotta kind of wait for them to come out by themselves. But... Come on, little guys. There's a couple of little shrimp that aren't wanting to come out. So, yeah, I got them all out. And they're in a little home. But, uh, let me cut the camera and I'll bring you guys back. And I'll show you them in the tank. But, yeah, everybody, they're all in there. They're all swimming around and getting used to their new uh, home. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys ain't going to be able to see that very good. All the tannin in the water makes it kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see one right there. You can kind of see one right there, and they're going to act up, act as my little cleanup crew and everything, but... Yeah, guys, uh... Now I got a fairly big school of them. And as you guys can see, my water is pretty tan. But after a few water changes and everything, that should go away mostly. But yeah, uh, I'll uh, cut to some nice B roll. And, uh, but yeah, see you guys. Uh, yeah, like, sh sh share, subscribe, comment. I want to see you guys comment because you guys haven't been commenting. But yeah, um, see y'all next time.